At noon, the largest terror training drill in the state's history is happening today. It spans four counties and aims to simulate a terrorist attack. News 6's Mark Lehman has more on what officials learned from the Pulse nightclub attack and how their response efforts have evolved since June 12th. A big takeaway from this drill is just how large scale it is. What's happening here behind me is just a fraction of the widespread training exercise, something officials say is necessary after something like the Pulse terror attack. First responders going to scene oftentimes do not know what they are facing. Well, that's exactly how today's scenario plays out. Firefighters responding to a radioactive explosion at the courthouse. We're going to possible dirty bombs, so what we're going to go ahead and do, we're going to have hazmat. They're going to go ahead and detect for everything, radiation, everything like that. Orange County, along with Osceola, Lake and Seminole, participating in the simultaneous training exercise. Through a Homeland Security grant, more than 80 agencies and hospitals are taking part. Organizers say what they're focusing on today are areas they identified during the Pulse nightclub shooting back in June. There are a particular skill sets here put to the test that are takeaways from the event that happened in our community last year. The training helping first responders and even volunteers, some hoping for a future career in the field. The experience, the triage process, that way I have that experience going in as a fresh EMT. And for those with experience, it's also an invaluable lesson. But the more that we put our skills to the test, the better we are able to adapt and to uh, respond when our community needs us the most. After today, each of the agencies involved will be looking at what was done right and mistakes that were made. The hope being, of course, that something like this never happens in real life. But if it does, they will be prepared. Reporting in Orange County, Mark Lehman, News 6.